had that metrics on the site for uh, two years now and uh, about a year ago we looked to see if we could improve the integration between Radiometrics and CareStream packs and once that was agreed with all parties, the, the board, CareStream and uh, Radiometrics, uh, the integration happened, the technical, the magic behind the scenes happened uh, very quickly in a couple of weeks actually and then CareStream and uh, Radiometrics worked very very well together to, to fine, fine tune that and, uh, and actually do the work. Radiometrics is a fantastic source of evidence for us um, in terms of um, radiation doses, in terms of room utilisation and uh, we refer to that to, to, to evidence um, sort of ideas we have or issues that sort of crop up to say you know, are we making the best use of our resources? How are we minimising radiation doses to our patients? And as the number and volume of exams goes up and the complexity of those exams goes up, then I think it's much more important that as professionals that we are able to justify the decisions we make about that. Uh, from a management perspective, it's really useful in terms of room utilisation that the only other way you could do that is by doing a, a uh, time and motion study and that has a resource implication and you can only do that for a finite period of time whereas with radiometrics you can see down to a specific acquisition uh, how the how the machine's being used and that's really really useful information in planning services. Before we had radiometrics if we wanted to, to pull any statistical information we'd have to do that manually we would have to physically log into our risk system and systematically go through every single patient and extract that information and then populate it into a spreadsheet and to try and get some sort of standard stats from that and we would have to do that quite routinely and um, with radiometrics it's 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 at your fingertips it's that information is already held within radiometrics it's it's bringing our protocols together so that it's so they're all standardised, it's, we're all using the same protocols and that again helps us to oversee um, to manage dose. It does its access in the content the context sensitivity launch from your PAX workstation or even from a standard PC. Um, it just means you don't need to launch and log into um, Radiometrics separately. It's interactive with your images and your risk report. And by do by choosing that um, icon, it's actually launching the, the information just solely for that patient only, which is all you're interested at a workstation scenario when you're and that what you're doing is you're following the patient through from when the request came in to them being x-rayed, for the images to be there, for it to be able to report and then you can click on that launch for the same patient and get all the cumulative dose for that patient. It just closes that circle. The opportunities to reduce dose are continually uh, appearing as manufacturers bring out new applications and new, new um, tools to be able to reduce dose. And the beauty of, of radiometrics is that we can, on an ongoing basis, monitor that and evidence that those new uh, techniques do actually reduce dose. The feedback from radiologists has been, has been quite positive uh, in that they do very much respond to evidence. And because the, figures, the, the, the radiation dose figures are pulled straight from the modality, it's not a case that they can, they can be wrong. They are, they are absolute and uh, the, the, the radiologists tend to respond very positively to that. The statistical information that we do extract from, from Radiometrics, we do um, feed that back into our department meetings and again that gets forwarded on to clinical governance and that's all about sharing the awareness and sharing the information that we've provided. I have a colleague who's interested in urological radiology and he decided he wanted to do all his CTKUBs prone and then was just comparing his results to the rest of us. And using radiometrics, he picked up that the CT radiation dose for his prone scans was only a third of what the rest of us were getting or for our, our standard CT scans. And the first thought was that's completely ridiculous. Rolling a patient onto their belly can't possibly reduce the uh, radiation dose by, by two thirds. So we, we frankly didn't believe it. Um, but we persisted, looked into the data, and it was true. The CT protocol on the scan for our routine prone scan was simply mislabeled. It was just labeled as CTKUB rather than CTKUB low dose. And so the, the pie chart was quite dramatic there. So the, the prone scans, the dose was 3.8 millisieverts, and the, the supine scans the rest of us were using were 7.9, so over, over double the dose. I mean, obviously the data was there anyway, had we burrowed in and, and looked at it, um, but the radiometrics made it very easy to, uh, 
to pick things like that up. The care stream is involved and in ensuring that um, the AD feed is linking from care stream to, to radiometrics and that's put in place to update patient information. So we have to make any changes locally in our own server, it's equally getting changed in the radiometrics server. So the information that you're pulling from, from from the information you pull from Radiometrics matches what you currently have on your system. So that's an important link that we have. It's been an excellent process. It's been very, very, it's been very, very painless. Uh, the application sits in the background, hoovers up all the data and presents it in a very easy way to understand.